Welcome back to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crash Storio 2. I've just finished the research of Logistics 2, so we can focus on making a machine that makes all the yellow and all the red belt that we need. In the meantime, we are going to be researching something different on the side. I do want to get to cars quite fast, because um, on the map we have not found an oil field yet. Um, if, we, if, if we have a look over here, we really do not see any kind of oil around us. We could maybe make a radar. Wait a minute. Before we go cars, and before we go full-blown cars, maybe go full-blown radar. Uh, where would that be? It's over here. Yeah, do this one first. <laughs> it, it takes longer. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's maybe start with a radar first, um, so that we can maybe start scanning our surroundings. And then we go for the full-blown car. In the meantime, we are going to be making a nice little machine over here that will take care for us the construction of all the belts that we need. And we do need to pick up some resources for that. We do need some gears. There's some gears over here, some gears over there. And there's actually a whole bunch of gears I can just consume over here. Uh, we might just do something like this real quick. Put one of this over here and then make me one of these. Also, yes, we know that we have this. Thank you very much. Uh, there we go. Um, not that many, maybe just like this amount. So then we have a chest over here where I can pick up some gears every now and then if I need some gears. There we go. Uh, make me some more assembly machines, please. Yeah, that should be enough. Good, and we are going to be making belts over here. I have chosen this area. You might also notice I have doubled down the amount of laboratories over here. Um... I didn't really do any kind of calculation in how many labs we need to supply all of these down here. What I do know is that labs over time will become faster uh, and more productive. So I guess for now it's fine. Just just, just put the science in there. Let's keep it flowing. As long as science over here is rolling, I'm absolutely happy with it. So we want to make some belts. Um, and it's going to look something like this. It's going to be a big-ish build. We do need some space in between. There we go. Um, and you might think, like, wait a minute, why five buildings? Well, we are going to put down two for builds. Uh, we're going to put down one for underground. We're going to put down one for splitters. And we're going to put down one for loaders. And then we're going to do the same thing again over here. Um, where we basically have uh, the equivalent in red. There we go. Good, because you do need um, yellow belts. You need yellow belt for all the yellow machines. Uh, ye yellow underground requires yellow belt and iron beams. Yellow splitters requires more gears, more engines, and more belts. As well as the loader. The loader requires more iron beams, iron gear wheels, and more yellow belts. And then red belt requires yellow belt and more gears. And then the requirement over here is almost the same. We do need the machine from below on top. Uh, for the upgrade, as well as some red belts um, over here, as some red belt over there, and then some extra greens and some extra gears over there. Gears is the thing that we need the most of, I think. Um, gears are required uh, in the loader over there and in the splitter over here. Of course, the other way around, because I know my words. Um, there we go. So, okay, we then also need some more gears over there. Good, um, which means we do need somewhat of a one, two, three, uh, feasible gear production. Um, we're probably not going to be making all of the gears, but we're going to make some of the gears. Um, do you need gears? Do you need gears? No. Good. Um, let's maybe reroute this belt a little bit. We go like this first. There we go. And then we do something like this. This will be fine. Uh, that will be the gears that we need. Um, we do need iron plate over here as well for these. No problems. Uh, we <laughs> we're going to have some fun with this one. Uh, also, let's pick up some inserters. Um, do we need... What kind of inserter speed do we need? We do make four of these per second. So let's pick up some blues. Here we go. And I really love it that we have these over here um, automated. Uh, and then the question is, how do we put storage? Let's do it like this. Um, everything that goes up is things that propagate and things that go to the sides, oops, uh, are things that we do not buffer. So we have this and that, as well as this and that, and this and that. There we go. And the things that go up and down, 
these will be buffered. So there will be a chest over here, chest over there, chest over here, chest over there, chest over here. Good. Um, how much yellow belt do we need? Well, yeah, let's make one row of this. How much underground do we need? Well, maybe half of one. How many loaders do we need? We really do need that many loaders. Uh, and splitters. Yeah, something like that. That that seems fair. That seems fair. We can just copy this whole thing over. Place it over here. We're going to need it either way. Here, make some more of these. And then let's start putting these down as well. Good. I think we should probably also start thinking about, now that we have things like steel available, uh, medium power poles. Medium power poles are the power poles we're going to be using the most. Um, we should be setting those up soon as well. Good. Um, then, what do we need? We need iron beams over here. We need engines over here. Uh, we also need to supply you with some gears and you with some gears. Uh, how many gears do you actually need? You do need quite a lot of gears. And how many do you need? You do need quite a lot of gears. Um, so we will not be exporting these gears anywhere. Um, these just go in here directly. Uh, we do need additional gears over here. Um, and since I don't really plan on making any blue builds, blue builds, blue belt anytime soon. Uh, there we go. Uh, get that radar, please. We might as well just do it like this, where we just go like here. You make also gears. Here we go. And then we just push it down like this. And if we do want to make some blue belts later on, we either move this whole thing around or something else. But for now, yellow and red will be more than enough. Um, blue belts, I would say we need blue belts for things that we really, really want to, to finalize. Uh, and of course, there's even more advanced belt after that. Uh, but for now, I think doing it like this is fine. Good. Um, that does mean that this belt over here of iron goes all the way around. On top, and then all the way over here. Uh, there we go. And then in we go. That should be fine. Um, we do have to keep in mind. <laughs> Zip. Um, and then we go back. That we need some iron plate over here as well. I just love the concept of just going with, like, one big, long belt. Um, yes. <laughs> it's also the reason why we probably need some red belt soon. Uh, I did upgrade the inserts over here at Small Therese to blue. Uh, but we should probably also start thinking about upgrading to um, steel furnaces soon. Good. Um, then we do need um, engines and we do need greens over here. Do we need anything else over here? Uh, oh, yeah, and then beams. Good. Um, that means we can now finally start using our beams. Uh, we do have a beam machine over here. Let's move you down by one. Uh, sadly, we cannot move you. Mm, but we can move you. There we go. And the beams are currently being made over here. Nobody's using them yet. So let's use them. We go down, we go over, and keep it moving. There we go. There we go. You also have to think of the engines. Um, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm going under this one just to save some space. Good. And then we just go up and over. And once we have belt automated, then we have all the essentials, at least for now. Uh, let's see. Where does the stuff go into? Into undergrounds and into this. Do we need anything of these beams over here? No. So... We might be able to pull this one off like this. Oh, I'm, I'm out of underground. <laughs> uh, you have an air, and then... Yeah, that'll be fine. Good. You pull it like this, and you pull it from over there. That will be that. And then we need engines over here. Uh, I think we also need engines for the belts over there. We do... Uh, where's the engine belt? The engine belt has stopped over here. And we just pull you along. We go, nope, the other way around. And then we go up. And we just pass through here. It'll be fine. Uh, of course, if we had enough underground, then it will be fine. Don't do that. We need that. Here we go. Um, and actually, the engine belt 
can't stop over here for now. There we go. Do something like this. Yeah, you get these. You get those. That will be your engines. Uh, you got everything you need. You got everything you need. And then... <clears throat> you got everything you need. Uh, almost. You also need engines. There we go. And then over here, we need greens. And... That's about it. We just need greens. Now, the green circuits, uh, I can see them. Oh, there they are. Um, yeah, move you up by one. No, that's suboptimal. Um, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that'll work fine. And then you go just straight past this one. There we go. Good. And that makes everything we need. So let's automate these. Let's put down some power poles. Mm. Yeah, that, that should be fine. No, these, these small power poles, these are so freaking annoying. Like, you can already tell that we are just, 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 just missing spots here and there because these poles are just too short. Mm. That could work. Oh, nope. This thing, okay. This thing over there. You live over there now. There we go. Um, and you live over there. You live over there. You get this one, that one, this one, and that one. And there we go. Uh, you can be over there. Something like this, something like that, something like this, and that's that. That should be everything. Let's have a look. Is everything working as planned? No, you are. Oh, ooh, that almost went wrong. Lucky us. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, you need, of course, the beams as well as you over there to make the loaders. Um, and then it should be fine. I can see some red belt over there. I can see some yellow belt over here. I already see some red splitters over here. Um, this whole process over here is just going to take some time um, for it to just propagate. Um, and that's perfectly fine. Um, this whole thing over here does not need to run at high speeds. It only needs to run. As always with these things, they only need to run. And they will back up um, the red stuff first. So be it. Um, we're just going to keep this running. Um, and we'll probably let the map run for like half an hour. And then we should have all the stuff that we need. Good. Then, uh, while we're over here, let's do a quick pick of cleanup. Oh, that was a little bit too much cleanup. <laughs> what we do need to find is, I mean, our, our big target is oil. Um, and oil processing in general. To get to oil processing, of course, we need oil first. Um, and I have not seen any oil over here. Uh, for that, I kind of want to get the car first, because I, I'm not walking around over here uh, by hand or by foot. Um, walking by hand would be a bit weird, of course. Uh, it's also a bit weird to see that science over here just takes so long. Mm, did we already research something like speed modules? No. We should probably also not go to speed modules because they do eat... Oh, yeah, there's the issue. Look at that. Uh, we are going to need some more power. We're definitely going to need some more power once we put up these electrolysis plants over here because these over here do eat a metric ton of power. So, sure, 12, and then 6, that should be fine. Um, we have all the inserts we need for that. And let's, well, not really double down power, but let's add another row of power. It's definitely going to help us out. Good. Um, he's still pocket crafting. Um, so, let's just wait a second. We could already think about, yeah, just copy over the whole thing. There we go. So we know where these go. Uh, we know where the lamps go. Uh, these over here are being made faster than expected, which is also very good. Uh, we know where the pipe goes. Here we go. Uh, I don't have these. Um, we could just either a yeah. Let's let's keep the burner inserters over there. I, I do kind of like uh, power plants running on burner inserters um, because if you're like in a brownout situation um, and you don't have enough power to move your inserter around, that is usually already like a death grip for your power plant. 
What I do most of the time is usually I keep like um, at least one burner inserter still in the power plant and then also add something like a stack inserter or something like that. Uh, the burner inserter will just be there in cases of very low power so that we can still feed up the power plant if we need to. Um, but sure, this will be fine. Okay, construction is done, which means we can do this and that and then we can place the rest of this. Here we go. And then have these, have those, have this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And let's check real quick. Can we place another one over here? Oh, we can place one more. You know what? We should do that. We should definitely add one more power plant uh, over here. Just to finish it off. Uh, we don't have any space for another one. So why not do it like this? There we go. And if we need more power later on, well, last time around we made a massive, massive coke power plant. And I think we also made a massive oil power plant. To get that oil, of course, well, we will need something like oil. Um, okay, let's make six of these first. And what do we need for these? We need iron plates, iron gear wheels. Okay, I see. Uh, let's get, off the, get these. Okay, we've got some gear wheels. That's good. And then the only thing we need is some iron plates. There they are. And then make 12 of these, please. Good. And then we can finish up this. We can finish up that. And this. Give it some power. There we go. And then we should be decent for power for a while. So basically doubling that power. Good, 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 good. Uh, we do definitely need some vision coverage over there. Now for vision coverage, we could also just make the sentinels over here. Um, I prefer the sentinels for, for like watching areas because they don't have that radar thing that just um, pings everything like every now and then. Um, having too many radars on the map is also definitely a factor that can affect the UPS. So you have to keep that in mind. Here we go. And then three more. But they should be decent for power for a while. And we do have this core mining seam over here, which we could use at some point in time. I'm still not quite sure how these work. Uh, we've got mining time and yield. It's, it seems like they work a bit like the old oil fields or the vanilla oil fields would work. So I'm kind of curious to see how much we can get out of that. Um, this time around, I think we are definitely going to do core mining earlier because we can't do it everywhere anymore. The last time we really didn't go into core mining because I just, I just didn't really got into it. Uh, but this time around, we definitely need to get into it early. I think we also have some more recipes earlier on that do require core mining. So we should have a look at that as soon as possible. Let's have a look at these. Um, wow, this one is filling up not very fast. Uh, let's maybe make only one stack out of this. Uh, but red belt is coming together. Yellow belt is coming together. Perfect. Also very good to see that. Okay. The reason why... No, we do make yellow belt at, at double the speed that we need for red belt, but we also do need yellow belt on the sides. But there we go. We can pick up some of this. Perfect. Um, split this over there. Are coming together. Yeah, this, this over here is working like a charm. Just keep it rolling. It'll be fine. Good. And radar is coming in. And after radars, we are definitely going to beeline for cars because I do need to know where, for, where the biters are for once. Uh, we did start with an increased starting area size, and the main reason I do that is um, at the beginning of these Victoria games, especially on the YouTube games, I kind of want to have like some peace and quiet to build. Uh, I don't want to be distracted by biters from the get-go yet. The, the biters will be there, and the biters will be annoying. Um, so don't you worry about that. Uh, we're not missing out on any biter action. Um, it's just going to take some time before we fully get there. Is this another power network? That is a separated power network. Um, yeah, let's connect these up. There we go. Good. We can now see a little bit further. We can at least see our full base. That's nice. And the radar over here will be scanning for our surroundings for a while. Uh, a car will do it faster because if a car, we can just drive to where we need to be. Uh, the radar over here just slowly but surely up to a certain range uh, will explore the map for us. Um, so let's just do it the old school way. 
then um what would we need for cars later on uh where is the automobile the automobiles over there um we do need the multi cylindrical engines so we do need this mm, and we do need these probably for a couple things what, what do we need let's have a look what do we need the multi cylindrical engines for usage there we go we need it for the filtration plants for the car for the flamethrower turret for the air purifier <laughs> Where, again, we could think about, hey, do we want to make a pollution neutral base? We didn't do it last time. I don't see us doing it this time. Um, the atmospheric condenser, the gas power station, the steel pump, the locomotive. Okay, we do need to make this big engine box then. Um, go for it. And then is the next tech already cars? No, we still need oil processing and fuel. Okay. Oh, fuel processing. Fuel processing is a thing I really do enjoy in this game. That's a thing that, that, that's really well done. Um, I'm, I'm already looking forward to that. Uh, as for big engine blocks, hmm. Oh, we're still researching them. Um, the thing we just researched was things like storage tanks and pumps. Yeah, we, we could make a mall block, but I want to make the mall block once we got bots. I don't really want to make any, any more stuff from the get-go. What we could do is just repurpose some of these. Uh, for example, you, you're not required anymore. We could, for example, say you make pumps and then we just do this and you start making pumps. Uh, you do need some more engines for that. So let's pick up some more engines. And we could do the same for all kinds of machines. There we go. Yeah, itchy nose. Sorry about that. Um, for example, we don't need to make these anymore. Uh, we could now just go like here. You know what we need over here? Uh, burner assembly machines. Start making that. And then you over there, you're going to make assembly machines. Start making that. Uh, this we definitely don't need anymore. Um, over here, we could start making filtration plants or something like that. Or maybe just... Um, oh, interesting. These do require multi-cylindrical engines, and we are just researching them. That seems a bit like a bug. Um, but sure, so be it. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, but you could make some filtration engines. We do need some steel beams for that. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so those sticks over here. Let's make some steel beams. Yeah, you start making that. Good. Uh, we should maybe also upgrade all of these to electrical builds. If we can. Um, yeah, give me those. You get those. So that we don't need to fill it up with any coal anymore over here. There we go. That's also still an electrical build. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, more of these. Start making that, please. Good. Um, this build over here is almost obsolete. The only thing that's not obsolete over here is the pipe making machine. Uh, and this machine over here is completely obsolete. So we can just completely... Try to take it apart after we realize that we've probably got way too much drag on our hands. There we go. Um, yeah, just take it all apart, please. There we go. Perfect. Not required anymore. The sooner we can clean up, the better. Perfect. That's the motor cylinder engines. Um, interestingly enough, we get trains before we get... <laughs> we can make a train before we can make a car. Uh, I was not expecting that, but sure, start doing the oil processing as well. Uh, in the meantime, um, yeah, we want to get rid of some of, some of these science blocks. Yep, yeah, have these. That's yours. Uh, and then these science blocks over here, those go into there, and these go into there. Good, 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 good. You over there, keep on working, please. Um, and then let's, else, let's see what we else we can recycle down here. And we picked up a whole bunch of brick and a whole bunch of coal. Uh, the coal we can probably just send back over here somewhere. Just, just make like a dump for it. And the brick, there we go. Just have these. And start cooking. As for the coal, um, we could fill up these chests, definitely. Uh, but how about we just do something like this? Uh, oh, that won't actually work. There we go. Just put it into there. 
Good. We also got some coke on us. We also don't need that. Here, have these. Be gone with that. And then we got the whole metrics on the foot. Also some copper core, uh, copper ore over there. Oh, that doesn't fit. <laughs> Good. Uh, we got the beams. Excellent. Here, have this. Make some more of that, please. Um, I don't think we need that many copper cable making machines over here. Let's take two out. Uh, and then you over there, you can make the multi cylindrical engine blocks. There we go. And you over there, you can start making filtration plants. Uh, and they require a whole bunch of stuff. Good. Um, anything else we can do? Let's have a look at the map real quick. Uh, the scan is continuing. That's some mineral water over there. Mineral water is definitely a thing we're also going to need sooner or later. Uh, but we are still on the quest for oil. Uh, also, maybe finding some uranium would be nice. Not, It's not required yet. Oh, there's another seam over there. Lovely. Uh, and some meteorites over there. Very lovely. But we want some oil. Maybe we already see it. I mean, the, the pinkish spicks, you can sometimes miss them. Uh, oh, that's a decent amount of mineral water over there. I'm happy with that already. Well, we will figure it out sooner or later. I guess it will be it for today. Um, next, I'm just going to keep the game running a little bit, and I'm going to be doing some exploring on my own. So next time around, you're going to see the map a little bit more explored over here, and hopefully me finding oil. Uh, nevertheless, if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of these actions does help me out in growing this channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash botviking, where we do even more Captain of Industry, GTFO, RimWorld, and Factorio will be hopefully back soon on the stream channel as well. Uh, currently, Factorio is more or less on YouTube, but uh, at some point in time, when a certain mod pack finally releases, uh, we will be back for more. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!